Hi, John from Witch Doctors. Today we're going to talk to you about a local guy who's building some really cool parts for high balls. So we want to introduce you to Aaron Smith. Um, Aaron has a 2013 Victory High Ball that he's been working on, building some really cool parts. So we wanted to tell you a little bit about it. We wanted to showcase him. Um, we always talk about witch doctors and everything, so we wanted to talk about somebody else's time and let you see what some of our customers are actually doing. Uh, very talented with what he's doing. He's coming up with some cool parts. The first part we want to show you is his handlebars. These are chain link handlebars made by hand. So I'm going to kind of let Aaron tell you a little bit about how he did it and um, explain them to you a little bit. Right here, uh, here we got, I'm just going to call them the Lost Hope chain link handlebars. Uh, I just started uh, doing these. I did a set previously and uh, working on this set. It's a 100 grade 3 8 chain. Um, bought it from scratch. Took the regular stock handlebars off and line those up with a piece of metal. Cut the metal out so that you have the same angle as these handlebars. And uh, pretty much lay the chain down in between the metal that we cut to match the shape of it. And then we tack welded each one. And after we tack welded it, we put the bend to it, correct bend, and we uh, stick welded it all together. And it's a process. And this looks like this would be mega time consuming. Very, very. I, I, I wish I would How many kept. hours would you say? I want to say if I had a week straight on working on chain link handlebars from scratch, these ones right here, from 5 o'clock in the morning until 8 o'clock in the evening, just because you got to weld, grind, weld, grind, just to make them look good, then you got to just make sure everything's on point. I want to say probably about three or four solid days of work from about... Just to make a set. Just to make a set. From probably eight in the morning to four in the afternoon if I was to sit there and do them straight. So it's do, you that think, much time. do you think once you have them now, you could do them quicker? Yes. Like oh, now yeah. that you know what to do and you kind of got a jig made out. And, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay. It'll def it definitely... This set compares to my first set went a lot quicker. So, and the more I do them, the quicker it's going to be. But I don't want to go too quick because this is something you don't want to rush on. You don't want these snapping on you in the yeah. middle of a ride. Yeah, so. that wouldn't be good. Yeah. One, one thing I noticed when I pulled the bike in, they're pretty solid. Very. I mean, when, when I try to pull those, they barely flex at all. Yeah. I mean, they're even front to back, you know, they're, they're pretty solid. We actually tested 30 grade, 80 grade, and 100 grade. The 30 grade we tested with different types of welds. Stick weld was the toughest. Um, actually, we welded 10 links together just like this with a 30 grade chain and uh, we tested them out and the actual chain itself broke before the weld did so we moved to the 100 grade chain and tested them out way 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 better there's well, there's no I mean when you're saying 30 grade 100 grade what exactly does that mean because I'm not familiar with that and I'm sure most of the people watching aren't familiar with that either if you go to your local handyman hardware store because you want to get some chain. Chances are they're going to be selling you 30 grade chain. Uh, that's like stuff you get from the stores. That's stuff you use pretty much to chain up your dog. You know, so uh, 100 grade is where you go to a factory. This 100 grade chain is what they use to actually lift, whether it is motors. Um, like a tow chain, something absolutely. strong. Okay. Yeah, there's like 2,000 pounds you could put on specific okay. types of so chain. it's just this chain is a much stronger grade better Very, metal Very. better metal yes all that. it's much stronger okay yes yes so that probably helps with the flex absolutely also the strength that they're not going to crack when oh, you do them yes a lot less flex with the 100 grade now these lot. i see you have the stock grips and stuff on here um everything fits somebody could get these and just kind of bolt them on like normal handlebars put their grips or controls or mirrors yes everything's the same yeah if you were to if you were to buy one of these sets of handlebars for your highball um and i ship them to you you're going to be able to take your handlebars off and put these on and your stock stuff that you already have on your bike slide them on these handlebars that's that so it's, it's very simple for somebody simple. to do super simple and then you're offering them i see you did this kind of custom the, the theme of your bike with black and red but people right. could i assume get 
powder coat it whatever you color, black, get, red, white, blue, green, whatever. Whatever color you want. Whatever color he can powder coat is what color you can get. So that's good to know. So any of you guys looking for something, if you want flat black, if you want red, um, white to match the highball theme, we can do whatever color you want for that. Now, the one thing that I'm sure really sets this bike off, I'm sure these get a lot of attention. Oh, yeah. But the one thing is your shifter over here. We'll come around and we'll show you the shifter. This thing is different. This is called your, like you call it, lost hope handlebars. I think this is definitely, <laughs> this is definitely lost hope because <laughs> if you're not used to using something like this, you might get lost. You got no hope, man. <laughs> so tell me about your your shoot your shifter here. How did you come up with this idea? What did you like? Tell me about well, this. It's really cool. I'm sure people, when you're going down the road, are like checking you out with this. Yeah. It's actually as soon as I bought this bike, I was thinking, you know, I'd, I'd like to do something old school to it, and uh, do research on motorcycles, suicide shifters, on old Harleys and stuff like that. That's something I would wanted to incorporate with this bike. So it's like, you know what? I'm gonna get a piece of bar and uh, measure everything out, went to the machine shop and uh, bent it so that way it is uh, clear of the tank for when you do shift. We had it bent and I wanted to make it so that that way you can uh, bolt it right on if I was to sell the stuff and obviously I am selling it now. You could bolt it right on. You don't need to buy no extra parts. Everything that we send you in the kit is the only stuff that you need to bolt onto the bike. You don't need a longer cable. You don't need to buy an extra clutch perch. You don't need any of that stuff. You just take your foot shifter off, and this clutch perch that you have up here, you take off, and you can reroute the clutch cable that you have already, right along the back side of the motor, and hook it up. You're ready to go. So this this is your stock clutch um, perch. perch from up on the handlebar, yep. stock clutch cable. Yep. So that saves people money. They don't have to buy anything else. Nope. So you are you are selling what you're selling the bar the the grip we're selling the bar the grip and we're selling the extra mount so that way you can put your mirror back up on the handle okay bars. so you're still going to use the mirror because this is your mirror part so you yep. give them another part yep. okay we'll i got you, you yeah, we'll give you another part up here so that way you can mount your mirror up there so you're not without one mirror right and, uh everything set stock you use everything stock that you have on your bike you're ready to go and then Winter time comes along, or potholes, or you know you're going on a rough ride somewhere, and you don't want to use your suicide shifter. It takes 10 minutes to change. You just take this bar back off, put this uh, clutch perch back up here, and your foot shifter back on. You're ready to go. So that's good to know. You don't actually cut anything or do anything. You, you just kind of unbolt and move. Yes. So if you move. didn't like this, if you bought this and you said, "Hey, this isn't for me," you could take this off. Put your shifter, put your put your clutch perch back up there, and you're back to highball again. Stop. Ready, ready no to problem. Go. Yep. Oh, yep. that's very cool. People, no yeah. So people don't have, you know, the risk that if they don't like it, or right. like you say, you go to the bar, hang out, go to the show, put that on, but you want to go riding cross country or something, you can go back to the regular yes. shift and do. Yep. So, was this easy to get used to? What what? Because I would think this is like. You named it Lost Hope because you about killed yourself or something. Yeah, pretty much. It's definitely it definitely takes time to get used to. I definitely would not you know recommend this for somebody who just got their motorcycle. If you've been riding for a while and you and you could want to purchase something like this for the cool factor and stuff like that, it's it's nice. It did take me some time to get used to it. Um, I'm still grabbing up here. You know, what I'm saying when I first started trying to get used to it, I'm grabbing up here to pull in my clutch and I'm still using my foot to shift when there's nothing their shift so you take your time and get used to it and eventually your brain memory kicks in and, and you realize you know now now I ride this thing left and right even in stop and go traffic and everything's cool now but when so you, you first start off you still use obviously your right hand on your gas yep. so I'm assuming that you kind of just ride holding this yeah. squeeze the clutch in just like you would on the handlebars yep. and then you just move it Push forward or back for yep. whichever gear yep. Um, and then let the clutch out, just, clutch like, out easy. just like normal. Everything, the the yep. biggest, probably hardest thing to probably get used to is the fact that you're not up on the handlebar anymore, yes. you're down here. Yes, I mean, so, if, and if you're going down the highway or whatnot, you don't have to hold your hand on here forever. You could relax right. your hand just, up there and stuff like that. It just depends on what kind of traffic you're in. 
so it all varies. It's something that you have to take your time and get used to. It's it doesn't come just So for like you that. beginners, probably not a good idea no. to put Lost Hope on there. No. Uh, you want to be a little bit more of an advanced rider and, and, and uh, know what you're doing just to kind of get used to that. And you probably want to take it out on the country road to get used to it versus going downtown when you're trying to shift and then you're grabbing the, the clutch and somebody pulls out and all that stuff. So, Well, very cool. What is something like this run? What, what is the cost on something like this if somebody wanted to order it? Around 265 depending on shipping and where you live and stuff like that. And the, around 265 The handlebars would be, do you know that yet or is it still too new? Uh, still too new right now with the handlebars. I know uh, with the time and, and the amount of stick weld and just that, it'll probably be, we're not sure yet. We'll, well that's we'll, cool. We'll and get, it takes time. Yeah. It takes time to get yeah. it developed and like we say, we know you just made them so you're out testing them. And, but very cool looking. I think you probably saw a lot of these, the same as the, the shifter to those highball guys. Um, the, the last thing is basically how would somebody contact you? I know you have Facebook and email, but what are your Facebooks? Tell everybody what the what your how would they contact you if you were interested in something like this? Uh, I have a Facebook. It's um, Lost Hope Riders, and you could or you can Facebook you can Facebook me at a a ron 360. Uh, if you look that up on Facebook, you'll find me, and then you can shoot me a message through there, or uh, you could email me at Lost Hope Riders BC dot com at yahoo.com and that, that's pretty much the easy way to get a hold of me well very cool very cool and if, if you guys have any questions you can give us a call or give us an email um, we'll get you in contact with Aaron so you guys can see what you know talk about what you want if you have some ideas run it past them he's great at building this kind of stuff these one-off type things if you got something shoot him an email and see what he's got to say he can help you out maybe uh, so again thanks man hey, for man. coming in thanks talking to us about me. this and uh, good luck with everything thanks for thanks for watching